why do i look so fucking ugly right now hey guys what's up welcome to my untold secrets of love island i am completely so far behind everybody else everybody already made this video but that's why i didn't make it is because i was like i don't want to repeat everything that they're saying so i gave myself enough time to like brainstorm over the past few months some funny things that other people haven't talked about that i experienced on the show so i figure like what the hell i guess i will make a video now because now i feel like i have funny things to talk about i don't know why i keep doing this in my hands i'm going to address the topics that you guys mentioned also um before i get into it throw this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you haven't noticed i am posting a lot more now uh because i'm in quarantine so i'm gonna keep you guys entertained so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything okay um i'm a little bit sick which is why i'm stuffy please ignore it um so let's get into untold secrets about love island okay so first i'm gonna talk about the things that you guys were asking about and then i'm gonna get into my own secrets um first of all everybody's asking about do you guys film on saturdays uh, on Saturdays are the guys not supposed to talk to the girls. Um, I believe I mentioned this in one of my videos before. Um, yeah, on Saturdays we didn't film. It's what we called ice. So, like, guys couldn't talk to girls. And also, we couldn't talk about anything show-related because they weren't going to use any of the film that they got on Saturdays. So, they wanted us to save all of our juicy gossip and concerns for filming when we resumed filming on Sundays. And so Saturday was just our day to kind of chill out. We got to listen to music, um, which other than Saturdays, we had zero music in the villa, like literally no music. So that drove us all insane. If that's something you guys are wondering about, we had no fucking music. We couldn't even sing like commercial music either. So it was like, it was crazy. Also, I got a question. Was there any drama with production slash staff? Um, no, but here's something that you guys don't know. In the villa, there are literally hundreds of hidden cameras everywhere and hidden microphones. So it's not like there's pro TV producers like all around the villa with like big cameras. Like it's not like that at all. Like you hardly ever see any producers. Um, everything is like small little cameras like on a flower vase or cameras like in the bushes or like there's just literally cameras everywhere. Um, in our mirrors, like, everywhere. So, there's, like, speakers everywhere all over throughout the villa so that the producers watching us, because they're all sit in a room and watch us on the screens. And then we also always have microphones on so they can hear us and see us at all times. So, they have microphones and they could, like, talk and it would come out on the speaker. And I will, I literally got yelled at all the time. I don't, I literally felt like I was, um in like elementary school again because I, I always got yelled at in elementary school because I just never listened. There were certain things like we were only allowed to have one glass of wine a night and if we tried to sneak another one we would get in trouble. Like this one time um I think it was Zach didn't want his wine so he like offered it to Kira and Kira like went to drink his glass of wine and then the producers came out and she got in trouble for that. So one one glass of wine a night and if you broke that rule they did not appreciate that very much. Um, also, like I said, I would always get yelled at because I'd forget to put my mic on or I would be talking about things I'm not supposed to talk about on TV, <laughs> which I'm sure that's not hard for you to believe. Um, also, I had a really bad mishap during the finale. Um, I did not like the dress that they put me in, the purple one, and I literally threw a fit. The girls had to leave the villa to go get our hair and makeup professionally done that day and like just relax and then you know try on our dresses and get all ready and i put on my dress and i had a freaking meltdown i thought i looked horrible in the dress i did not like the dress i hated the color i hated the way it fit me i asked they had they were supposed to take in the straps because they were too long and they didn't even measure uh how much they needed to take it in so they just guessed and then they took it in way too much and the boobs were like up here and my boob actual boobs were like down here i had a meltdown i was crying i was like i'm not wearing this dress i was like i look so fat in this i look so ugly like i literally was having a meltdown and they were like okay we'll try to find you another dress and then they couldn't and i was pissed and i threw a huge fit and so i guess that counts as drama also um i think i was kind of snooty i really owe the 
producers of CBS and Love Island an apology because I was very much so on a hormonal roller coaster um, while I was on the island and I was a B-I-T-C-H and I was very talk backy and sassy the whole time and just angry for no reason. So yeah, if that is what you consider drama with producers and staff, it was me. I was the drama. Okay, I'm getting so many questions about Kira. Um, for well, first of all, I'm getting questions. Do you are you actually into girls? Then I'm getting questions. Uh, did you actually feel a spark when you kissed Kira? Uh, did you get close to Kira? Had do you wish that you had picked Kira at the ceremony of recoupling? Um. Here we go. Let's answer all them. Am I actually into girls? Yes, I am. Um, I I heard through the grapevine that some people might have been saying that I was faking it on the show for attention. But I mean, anybody that actually knows me from home and my family and everybody that knows me knows that that's not true. Um, the first girl that I ever or the first person that I've ever actually hooked up with was a girl and it was behind closed doors. It was not in front of anybody for attention. And um, ever since then, I've been attracted to girls. I mean, like, how can you not be attracted to girls? Like, we're so attractive, like. Girls are hot. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think everybody's into girls. Like, how could you not be into girls? And coming onto the show, I knew that I was interested in Kira. And it was something that I was going to go for from the beginning. And then I got in there. And um, what you guys don't understand is, yes, she did a lot of talking about me in the beach hut saying that she thought I was cute. I never saw that. Like, I did not see her in the beach hut. None of us got to see what we were saying in there. It was like a confession room. I did not see these things. So... I got the vibe that she was just friends with me because I got the vibe that she was into Cashel um, and I didn't realize that she was actually into me until I got home and watched the show from the view that you guys all got and saw that she actually was into me. But I didn't know that at first. Um, I thought that we were just friends on the show. But yeah, uh, did I feel a spark when I kissed her? Obviously, I felt a spark when I kissed Kiro. She's gorgeous. Uh, she's, she's hot. Like, obviously I felt a spark when I kissed her. Did I get closer? Yeah, honestly, in the villa, I felt like, until she left, she was one of my closest friends in there. I talked to her a lot about everyone. I talked to her a lot about Eric. I talked to her a lot about Weston. Um, so, like, I viewed her as, like, my best friend in the villa. Obviously, a lot of drama happened, and I've moved past it by now because it's reality TV. So, I mean no hard feelings i don't care uh we talk now we're friends on instagram and everything we actually didn't speak until the love island reunion that we had uh in la and i pulled her side we kind of chatted and made up and now we're friends and i would love to get closer to her i think she's amazing i think she's beautiful yes i definitely uh was attracted to her um i got a question saying do you wish that you had coupled up with her at the recoupling ceremony um I don't have any regrets about the decisions that I made in the villa because it has brought me the amazing friendships and relationships that I have in my life now. Um, I really don't regret anything. I don't really don't regret anything in life. I think you guys know that about me by now. Um, but I'm really glad that I picked Weston. Like my journey with him woo, has been and is amazing. And you know, I'm really happy with the, where my life is right now. And I do not regret anything. Do I think Kira's hot? Yes. Do I think she's an awesome girl? Yes. Are we friends? Yes. Am I into girls? Yes. Um, but I am happy with the way that everything turned out on the show. Somebody also asked me, is how much of the show is legit and how much of it is staged? So, sorry, I keep like fixing my shirts. My, my freaking veins pop out of my neck like a psychopath. Um, the show is not scripted. People always ask me this. How much of the show is real? Was your relationship with Weston real? Blah, blah, blah. I realize that a lot of reality TV is scripted. I can tell from watching it. Now that I've been on a reality TV show, I can tell from watching shows which shows are scripted and which aren't. Our show was not scripted. It was 100% real. It, you were allowed to pick whoever you wanted. The producers did not influence you to make any decisions that you didn't want to make. They were 100% supportive of doing what you wanted to do. They never once told you like what to say. Certain things were prompted, like if they they saw that Kira and I had a little bit of a spark during our kiss, during the game, so at one point they pulled me aside and said, oh, we saw that you might be interested in Kira, why don't you pull her aside and have a conversation with her at some point today? That was the extent 
to which scripted goes everything was 100 up to us the only thing that they tried to do was prompt certain conversations because they needed a storyline because they see every minute of every single day of what's going on with us, but they have to put it into a one hour episode for you guys. So they have to try to make things as obvious as possible for the show so that you guys can understand what is going on for us in the villa without them having to uh, like scrape together some scenes that wouldn't even make sense. Got it? Good. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to tell you guys stories, um, my stories that weren't shown on the show or that might have been shown on the show, but needs some explanations. So when I was first coming on to the show, I came in with Jared and um, Anton. And I was like, okay, these are my boys. Like, these boys are going to protect me in the villa. I have their back. They have mine. So if you guys watch the show, you know that the way that we entered the villa, um, we came in on jet skis and then we ran in while they were while the rest of the islanders were playing a game in which they were blindfolded and feeling around to try to find their partner. Before we entered the villa, um, Jared, Anton, and I had a game plan. We are like, who are you going for? Who, whose hand are you going to try to grab during this game? Uh, if you see this person, blah, 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 we'll distract them. We'll grab them. So I'm pretty sure Jared was going for Kira. Uh, I was going for Eric. And Anton was going for Caro. <laughs> it's so funny the way everything worked out. Oh, my God. So anyways, um... Then we go in, and I'm literally tr just trying to grab anybody's hand at that point, because everybody's feeling around, they could, I guess you could just tell that I was not in the villa before, like, nobody wanted to hold my hand, everybody was like, this is not my partner, and I'm like, what the fuck? So, I ended up grabbing Zach's hand, and I cannot tell you the horror that I had, because, one, I was nervous enough coming in to all these girls who have been there since day one, and I was like, they're not gonna like me, I'm so scared. And then I went in and had to grab Zach's hand, who was day one with Elizabeth, so... I grabbed Zach's hand, he was just holding my hand, and then all of a sudden Elizabeth comes over and I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. But the only reason why I was holding Zach's hand is because nobody else would hold my hand. And I was like, okay, he's holding my hand, lit, I'm just gonna stand here. And then Elizabeth comes over and grabs his hand, and then she's still blindfolded, and she like reaches over and feels that I'm also holding his hand, and she's like, you can tell she was like, what the fuck? And then they took their blindfolds off, and I was like, oh my god. They took their blindfolds off, she looks at me, and she's like, who is this? I was like, I swear to God, I'm sorry. But anyway, I was so scared that Elizabeth was going to hate me. Look at my veins popping out of my neck. Oh, my God. I was so scared that Elizabeth was going to hate me. Um, but then she ended up being so nice, and we became best friends. But scary moment. Also, okay, so here's another untold secret. Uh, during all of our dance scenes, where it looks like we're all, all having so much fun, and we're like, yay, and we're, like, dancing in slow motion, and it, like, looks like no it was the most awkward shit they played music that like we didn't even know half the time we were all like forcing ourselves to dance and, and alex was always just like whipping herself around like this and um i was i always got so mad during these dance scenes and i'm so embarrassed to share this stuff with you guys but i'm doing it anyway because i don't care at this point but um I would always get so mad at Weston during these dance scenes because everybody would be dancing and their couples, like, the guys would be, like, spinning the girls around and, like, dancing. And, like, Weston would be, like, break dancing in the middle of the floor and I'd be like, fucking dance with me. It was so, I would get so mad at him. Like, even at the finale, I got so pissed off with him. And if you actually watch it, I'm dancing with him for, like, two seconds and then the rest of the time I'm with the girls because I'm like, I'm so fucking mad at Weston. Fucking, ugh. I hate Weston, like literally. <laughs> so stupid, but I would get so mad at him because I just wanted to dance with him and he'd be like, oh, oh, like literally just trying to bust a move and take everybody's attention. And I was so mad because I was like, just take, fucking dance with me. Anyways, um, oh, also here's another untold secret. So for our first dates in the villa, for my first date, I'm sure you guys saw, um, I went on a date with Weston and I went on a date with Eric. Also, Jared and Anton both got two dates, but they only showed one of each of theirs. So let me tell you who their other dates were and what happened on their dates because you guys have no idea. I don't know why they showed both of my dates and they only showed one of Jared and Anton's dates, but here you go. So I went on my date with Eric. It was so fun. We went snorkeling in the Fiji Ocean and it was lit and we had champagne and it was so fun. Then I got off my date and um, I was asked if I wanted to go on another date. 
I was like, yeah, let's go. Let's bring it. So then I invited Weston and Weston and I went paddle boarding in the Fiji Ocean and that was also lit. Anyways, I'm sure you guys saw Anton's date with Caro, but what you didn't see was Anton's date with Kelsey. Anton got to go on a second date. He took Kelsey. I honestly don't know what happened on their date because there was like obviously some kind of a little bit deep-seated unspoken drama that was going on with me, Kelsey, and Weston. So I didn't, I don't know how Kelsey and Anton's date went. I honestly have no idea. But Anton went on a date with Kelsey. And then also Jared got a second date too. You want to know who Jared's second date was? It was Alex. Oh my God, this is so crazy that you guys don't know this. You're welcome. Here I am bringing you the tea that you guys didn't know. Um, Jared asked Alex on a date also. They didn't show this, but Alex went on the date and Jared basically told her, I asked you on this date because I want you to help me get with Kira. Awkward. But anyways, they didn't show that, but those two things happened. Those are, th there's a great secret. You're welcome. Oh, also another funny story that they obviously did not show. Um, so we all share a bedroom. All of our beds were in the same room. And by the end, once it got to the finale, once it got to the final four couples, we were like, fuck it, let's have fun. So we were just goofing around the whole time. And um, one of the nights when we were all in bed sleeping, Zach got up and like helicoptered his dog around the room. We were just like fucking, just like. <laughs> Anyways, um, he did that out in the wide open in our room, and then um, I feel so bad for all the producers that had to watch us live every moment of every day because they saw a dong of that day. Another story that you guys don't know is on mine and Weston's final date uh, when we went and we had like champagne and like fruit and cheese and we danced and we had that like live little band thing. Um, we were supposed to be having conversations about our journey in the villa and he was just like eating and he would just like not stop eating and they're like, Weston, can you please put the cheese down and like have a conversation? And he kept getting in trouble and finally they took away our cheese board and then, um, <laughs> I don't know why. I took two melatonins, so before I decided that I was going to make this, so I'm a little out of it. Sorry. And Weston requested Candy Shop when we were dancing. So they were literally playing Candy Shop, and they were like these Fijian guys singing Candy Shop. And Weston and I were slow dancing, and we were like, I was just cracking up. Like, they were like, guys, guys, just dance, like, be romantic. And Weston and I are just goofy, like, that's how we were. So it was really hard for us to do what they wanted us to do because we were just goofing around the entire fucking time. But yeah. But anyway, I'm sorry that I always manage to make myself look absolutely hideous on days that I'm filming. But this is what you get. I don't know how I look ugly right now. Anyways, oh, I must go to bed now. But uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed my untold secrets slash stories. I hope that, I don't know, I might end up refilming this tomorrow because I feel like I wasn't even, I feel like they weren't even funny. Whatever, I don't know. Uh, waste of time. Anyways, I love you guys. Um, if I don't refilm this, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, throw it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to review this and decide whether or not I'm going to refilm it. <laughs> mm. Anyways, I love you guys. Good night.